Hello, everyone. Sorry for the, the mic problems, if there's any. But welcome back to another video. Space Shark here. And I already know what you're saying. It's November. Why are we getting a Halloween tier list ranking, tier list ranking now? I apologize. It's pretty late here. It's about 8 p.m. November 5th. Um, and to tell you the truth, I love Halloween. And I didn't get around to doing this when I really wanted to. So I apologize for that. But I hope you enjoy. And let me know your list down in the comments below. So we're going to start off here with, of course. Oh, l let me just say this. There's only going to, I believe there's only going to be one movie. Hold, hold on, hold on. Okay. Okay, we, we got five tiers. Let, let's go Let's go over that first, all right? I, I like. I'm getting ahead of myself. So, we have the best tier, which is The Devil's Eyes. Then we have the next tier, which is Entitled to One Good Scare. Then we have Watchable, Waste of Times, and the dreaded Treat or Treat Motherfucker for the worst movies. The ones that stink are going to be down here. Um... Oops. We'll go in chronological order to make it easier for everyone. So, let me fix this for you guys real quick. Because it will bother me. Once again, I apologize. Um, do, 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 do. How was everyone's Halloween? <laughs> uh, four, five, six, seven... Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so thirteen films. We're going to start with the original 1978 John Carpenter's Halloween. This is no question. It's going to the Devil's Eyes. This may be the only movie in the Devil's Eyes, but we'll see how we feel because my opinion on these movies tends to change quite often. Um, some are more watchable than others, obviously. Um, what I can say about this movie is, once again, it is a classic. It kicked the doors open. It, it kicked the door off the fucking hinges for the horror genre. You know, so you, you have movies like slasher movies like Texas Chainsaw and Psycho that kind of open the door for, like, slasher movies. But Halloween went right ahead and kicked that motherfucker off the hinges. And... It's actually the reason why we had Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th was actually a ripoff of Halloween. Fun fact. <clears throat> Let's move on. Um, Halloween 2. This movie came out two or three years later. Um, it is a direct sequel and can be watched as a dual... Um, wa watch them together. It happens on the same night. Um, this is the movie that also brought in our lovable, if you would call it that, brother-sister angle. Um, I've watched this plenty of times, but it seems like this is one of the movies where every time I watch it, I like it less. Um, it is gorier, but there there lacks a story, and Laurie Strode is like bedridden the entire movie in the hospital. But you do got some tense uh, moments, some really good practical effects. You got the bathroom scene, but I'm not going to go on too much. I'm going to put this one unwatchable. I know I'm going to get a lot of flack and a lot of hate for it, but it is what it is. It's my list. Halloween 3. Um, so this is where I'm going to lose some of you. Okay. Halloween 3, entitled to One Good Scare. Now, if you may, let me explain. This movie has absolutely no reason being tied to this franchise. And it is a sin that, is, that it is tied to this franchise. If this movie was just titled Season of the Witch, this movie had, would have been seen differently. It would have been hailed as a classic. I know that. You know that. This movie is brilliant, okay? It follows, um... Wow, I can't think of his name now. Uh... Wow. Of course I can't think of the name right now. I apologize, guys. But it follows this, uh, this um, duo looking for, um... Oh, fuck. These men in black Asians are going around killing people. And it's tied to these uh, Halloween masks where this commercial will go off. And you, you tend to find out that the masks were made to uh, kill all the children in the world by some Irish mask maker. 
pretty evil shit. It's kind of surprising that they went there. Um, I don't want to spoil it too much. Um, please watch it for yourself. It is a classic. It is underrated, and it gets shit on too much, but it's good that a lot of people are actually coming around to it now. So yeah, entitled The One Good Scare. Halloween 4. This is a movie I wished I watched a lot sooner. Um, and this is also one of those movies that gets better every time I watch it. So this is when they dumped the whole Laurie Strode, Laurie Strode angle and they went with the Cult of Thorn. This is the start of the court, the Cult of Thorn angle with Jamie, um, Jamie Lloyd. So it follows Michael where... Um, First of all, the mask in this one is complete shit. Uh, let me let me um rate it quickly. I think this one is entitled to one good scare. Loomis is top tier in this movie. Michael is top tier. He has a pretty kick-ass mask with the bandage wraps. Uh, it doesn't get talked about enough. It's pretty underrated. Um, but it follows Jamie Lloyd and this cult of Thorn. This is where it, it doesn't get as potent until like the fifth and sixth movie. But it's pretty much michael coming back and they pretty much continue on where um dr loomis survived the hospital explosion as well as michael Lori strode has been ridden off as she died in a car accident so michael's now chasing his next of kin in the bloodline which would be jamie lloyd um this is also a movie that you have to watch it is a absolute classic um the movie goes on with um the Haddonfield, it's pretty much Myers versus Haddonfield, which is also another movie we'll see later. Um, and Michael in this movie is actually really smart because he's uh, systematically taking out Haddonfield. He's being very smart to a game of chess. He's taking out the power. He's taking out the police force. And it's actually a really good watch. And definitely, definitely recommend that you watch it. Halloween 5. Um... A lot of people will have this as their worst movie in this franchise. I am not one of those people. Um, damn, I wish there was a tier in between Watchwell and Waste of Time. Um, I'll put it in Waste of Time. I mean, I, I do like it. It's charming. It's so it's it's in the so bad that it's good territory. But Jamie Lloyd in this movie is a complete mute. You have to deal with Tina, which is oh god, bro. Um, please go watch this movie and just like come back to this video and comment when you like fucking listen to tina for like five minutes but get the fuck out of here tina is so obnoxious uh quite possibly the most annoying um character in slasher movie history but yeah so this is where the cult of thorn starts uh progressing you got the whole man in black angle again and this is loomis at peak like just craziness he is literally Jamie Lloyd may be more scared of Loomis in this movie than she was Michael. With all, where is he, Jamie? Come on, Jamie. Where's Michael, Jamie? Um, that's my Loomis impression. But yeah, um, and you have cops with their own clown theme song music, and uh, it, it's it's an odd viewing for sure, and it definitely stands out like a sore thumb. Um, the director ha is a European director, so he has his own flair, and that may be part of it. The mask in this movie is complete garbage. He looks like a goblin witch who's telling you to get off his lawn with, like, a mullet. And the motherfucking mask isn't tucked into his coveralls. And it, it literally gets me every time. It, it is so painful and cringy to watch. He takes off his mask in his movie, and he cries. He, he gets punked out by, by a little girl. He's a little bitch, but... So it's so bad that it's good. So definitely, you should watch all these movies. Um, Halloween Six: The Curse of Michael Myers, or Halloween: The Curse of Michael Myers for all you purists out there. This movie is confusing. Probably the most confusing movie in the entire timeline. Uh, fuck. Um, Michael raping Jamie and so on and so forth. It's um, it's weird. This may be the scariest Michael Myers out of the whole franchise. Definitely one of the most brutal, which we'll come to a couple of them later. Hint, hint. Um, yeah, there's multiple cuts to this movie. Producer cut and theatrical cut. Th they couldn't come to terms on how they wanted this movie to go. And it it's a very confusing watch, but there's certain cuts of the movie where if you cut it right, it it it's, it's alright. Um, ah, uh, man... I'm sorry, I'm going to put it in a waste of time. I don't think it's completely bottom of the barrel, but I don't 
I can't put it on watchable, but it's not on. It's it, it would kind of like lower Halloween two if it was on the same tier as him. Which yeah, I'll organize them by uh, tier. How strong they are in each tier. So th this is fine right now. Halloween five is above Halloween six. Um, yeah, it's it's just an odd viewing. Um, you could tell that they didn't really know what they were doing. It's not a very coherent story. And like I said, it is a very brutal Myers. And then you got Paul Rudd in his first ever performance, which he's he's odd. <laughs> I mean, it, it's funny, but go go back and give it a watch. It's Paul Rudd. That's all I can tell you. Um, I'm sorry that I'm go I'm, that I'm not going to depth on this. Um, I I do recommend you watch it. Halloween H two O watchable. People are gonna be pissed at this. Um, this was supposed to be the finale, and then they fucked it up with Resurrection. Um, if they ended with H2O, uh, I would have been fine. Perfect ending. But, um, this takes place 20 years after the original movie, and H2O retcons every movie besides Halloween 1, Halloween 2, Halloween H2O. 20 years later, and Lori, this is probably the best version of Lori we ever got, where she's not completely psycho, where she's trying to live her life and put it back together. She has kids. And she works for this, uh, I think it's a high school campus, like a private private uh, school. And Michael comes there, and he terrorizes while um, they go on a field trip. But this is Laurie's movie, if anything. This is the Laurie, uh, Laurie Schrode more, a movie more than a Michael Myers movie. Um, great standout performances. Like I said, uh, this movie feels like Scream, actually. This is like the most scream-like Halloween movie, and it's because of the Ke Kevin Williamson era of horror. And just the time that it came out, like, I'm pretty sure the score in this movie is very scream-like. I'm pretty sure it is the scream score. I'm not even going to lie to you. Um, I will put it above Halloween 2, though. Um, I, I do think H2O was a better movie than Halloween 2. Um, and it's, it has a very kick-ass ending, but they fucked it up. And I won't go into too much detail. Because like I said, I want you guys to watch it. Halloween Resurrection. You know where it is. Trick or treat, motherfucker. Is the name came from here. With Busta Rhymes and all. Um, this movie is, is a disgrace. It is so bad. I don't know how to really go into detail. Without like telling you shit you've already heard about this movie. Um, Michael Myers is a joke. Busta Rhymes slaps him around. Tells him what to do. And Michael listens. And then he fucking does... Karate, karate on Michael Myers. Do I, need I see more? It's a bad movie. It's shit. Watch it if you want, but you're probably going to suffer while watching it. I have nothing else to say about this shit movie. Rob Zombie's Halloween. Oh, this is tough. This is also another one. Um, fuck. This is tough. Um... I'm going to put it in Waste of Time, but at the top of Waste of Time. So, this is Rob Zombie's take on the original Halloween. Um, but he incorrectly does it because instead of keeping Michael in the shadows and keeping him, like, mysterious and not knowing if he's supernatural or human, he goes the full human route and pretty much shows us that Michael grew up in a white trash hillbilly household that turned him into a serial killer which no one really asked for no one really wanted a backstory everyone knows this i hate origin stories because it literally answers questions to, to the questions i never i've never asked so for first like three quarters of the movie uh it, it's pretty unwatchable it's pretty bad tyler main as michael is great though he's on par with halloween sixes um brutality for most brutal michael but and then like the ending of the movie is pretty much like a very hyped up very metal and hardcore version of the original halloween i won't go too more into it watch it if you can rob zombies halloween 2 i'm gonna lose some of you again watchable um i think it's at the end of watchable uh i'm in the very minute small maybe one percent of people on this planet that actually prefers rob zombie halloween 2 to rob zombie halloween 1 now i'm not saying it's a good movie because overall it's a pretty trash movie but it has its own flavor it's actually like a palate cleanser it's not as 
different like uh, Halloween season of the witch because it does have Michael Myers and it does have Laurie Strode played by Sc uh, Scout Taylor Compton but it's um it's a good watch it's different it um this movie definitely feels more Rob Zombie in my mind um and this is like Rob Zombie unchained and pretty much telling his story which I think he does a good job at. It's a little confusing. I am tired of seeing his fucking wife in all those movies with this whole white horse crap. But this is a movie that I feel like Michael's more... In this is this may actually be the most brutal Michael. I, I will say it is the most brutal Michael. Uh, leave a comment and like if you actually want a most brutal Michael list. Um, or tell me I'm shit because I'm probably fucking this up right now. But yes, Halloween 2, I'm going to put it in watchable at the end. Halloween 2018. It want, it, entitled to one good scare. Um... I think this is the greatest Halloween movie that we've had since Halloween, the original. Um, I know a lot of... This is actually the first movie, Halloween movie I saw in theaters. So, I mean, keep this in mind. I'm 26, so um, I think H2O was the first Halloween movie that came out when I was alive. But I didn't really get into this franchise until I was like a teenager. I didn't get to see the Rob Zombie movies, Rob Zombie movies in theater. So it was this one that I fully got to experience in theater. And maybe that plays a part to it. Now, I'm not saying this movie is perfect because it's not. But it is a great movie. There's a lot of tension. There, There's a lot of great moments. And it, it does feel kind of true to the original in a way. This takes place 40 years later from the original movie. And this is where the new timeline branches off with Halloween, Halloween 2018, Halloween Kills, and then Halloween Ends, our newest movie. But this this follows four year, 40 years later at the original with Laurie Strode where she is completely crazy. Like how H2O, how she was a little crazy. Well, in this movie, she's completely crazy. She um, is pretty much been locking herself away from society, warning people about Michael Myers for years and years and years. Everyone thinks she's crazy. And then he finally breaks out. I'm not going to spoil this movie for you. Go watch it yourself. It is amazing. Halloween Kills. So th th this movie is really decisive. You either really hate it or you really like it. But, I, you know, I can't even say that because I kind of fall in the middle of it. It's watchable. I would put it right here. Halloween Kills is the middle chapter. So this is where you kind of have the most freedom to do whatever you want. They Michael goes completely unhinged. So, like I said, I'm not going to talk too much about it. Just please go watch this movie. <laughs> I keep, I keep like, freaking contradicting myself. This is now the most brutal My Michael Myers. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Yeah, he, this is definitely the most brutal Michael Myers. Um, this might be the most kill-heavy movie. The least story-driven. Uh, I hate the evil dies tonight. Fucking social commentary they have going on. But if you're here for slashing and don't really care about story too much you'll love this movie all right we're here with the movie that everyone has been waiting for you guys are going to be mad at me because like like just like rob zombies halloween 2 i am in the minute on this one the complete minute are you ready entitled the one good scare now this movie is confusing Sure. There's a lot of people saying they don't understand what's happening. I don't know how that could possibly be. You know, the people who made the movie literally left breadcrumbs for you to follow along. Michael pretty much enables Corey's dark side, his anger. And he pretty much, like, in a way, you could say transfers evil or just enables Corey's evil. And did I say Cody? It's Corey. And it follows this this kid, Corey. Now, one thing that they could have done better was introduce Corey in Kills or Halloween 2018. It is a bad thing that they introduced him in this movie. It was completely unnecessary, sure. I like the, char the, the character of Corey. But this movie is great, in my opinion, obviously. This is not a subjective list. I should have said at the beginning. This is just my opinion. So if you're going to leave hate comments, sure. I have thick skin. I can handle it. I won't spoil too much. You know, I'm not going to spoil anything. Please go watch this movie and then come back and leave your comments. Uh, I'm sorry if I kind of misguided you and if you're expecting more on this list. But this this is my list, guys. Um, and I would really love to hear yours. So please leave it in the comments below. 
And of course, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this type of content. I'm really trying to find what my niche is here on YouTube. All right. Well, anyway, thanks guys for watching. Um, happy late Halloween. And this is Space Shark signing out. Goodbye, everyone.